I think the real challenge right now is that we built a, a massive enterprise that we call global health practically overnight in less than 10 years um, with a huge increase in its budget. Uh, but it's all threatened now because of the recession uh, since the 2008 financial crisis. And uh, the main impact of the financial crisis is to increase the amount of dependency on two sources for funding, the United States government and Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation. And they're both American. The Gates Foundation has no accountability to anybody. It's 100% private. Um, so Bill could wake up one morning and change his mind, and we're, there's no other place for that money to come from. I think all we can hope for is that individuals that attend the World Health Summit take some messages home and integrate them into their work uh, in whatever they work on, in or out of government. But uh, I'm not terribly optimistic. I think, you know, my message is a complicated and a sober one. And it's not one that most of the advocacy community wants to hear right now. Because it's been accustomed to just yelling and demanding more money, more money, more money. And I think that those demands are going to fall on deaf ears now. They already are in Europe. And Japan is very generous, but they've had, you know, Fukushima, not, uh, the tsunami, they have massive political instability. Nobody manages to stay in power very long. You can't go to Japan right now and say, you have to give more. So it's very hard. I know for a while there was a lot of, oh, maybe the BRICS will step forward, you know, India, China, Brazil, and so on. But they're contracting too. And I think it's hard for, you know, global health advocates to understand that, yes, you have a good cause, save lives, but that is not enough in a recession. It's not enough to get the money to flow, to turn that faucet back on. You need to be able to demonstrate you have a real plan, you have a strategy, you know what you're going to do and how you're going to do it, and you're, you're uniting across not just health, but the other sectors that these lives are affected by, the climate sector, the food and agriculture sector, the anti-poverty and agricultural development, all of it as one big united package. And if, if the global health community doesn't hear that, whether it's here at the summit or elsewhere, and start to act accordingly, I am not optimistic about the near future.